Oh, and there's a witch in there as well. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. Yep, don't like it. Don't like it. Hello everyone, I'm B. Calcorn, and this is episode 21 of Hardcorn Perilous Series 2. And we are here in the uh, enchantment area that we started on uh, last time around. But this time around, we're probably not going to get back to expanding that, although we do need to. Uh, this time around, I've decided, since everything has finally lined up to uh, allow me to update to 1.20 on this series, uh, we'd go on a little quest because we have updated uh, a number of things here. We have updated my uh, Minecraft itself to 1.20.1. We were previously in 1.19. whatever it was. Uh, and we've also updated the Paralef and Structury uh, data packs, which uh, of course Terralith uh, does all kinds of neat stuff for the terrain generation, and Structury adds many, many new uh, structures uh, that will appear around the land. So some of the changes, let's go uh, through that. Let me take a look at the pages for those. So for Terralith, uh, let's see, they've, uh, I think there was a version actually that I kind of skipped for 119 that uh, made some things uh, correctly, generating the fortified de de uh, desert village and uh, bees inside the giant beehives that can appear apparently. Uh, in we were, we're updated now to 2.42. Uh, in 2.4, they did their update to Minecraft 1.20. They modified the new t cherry grove biome, uh, the vanilla biome, to add bamboo to that and rocks and more flower types neat. Uh, they added a snowy cherry grove, and uh, they updated the existing Terralith uh, biome, Sakura Grove, Sakura Valley, and Skyland Spring to include the new wood. Uh, then in 241, uh, they set it so that trail ruins will now generate in Terralith biomes. Let's see, they added camels to the fortified desert villages. Uh, sentry and dune armor trims can now be found in fortified villages and fortified de desert villages. Cool. Wolves will can spawn in snowy cherry grove. Cool. Prove the, the spires uh, generation uh, lag. That's good to know. It looks like some other technical things in there. And then in 242, they fixed a crash. Meanwhile, in Structury, we went up from, I forget what we had before, uh, 1.20 or is it 1.31, I believe? Anyway, 1.32. Yeah, 1.32 updated to 1.20 and added armor trims to many of the existing structures. So that'll be good to be able to find some of those. Anyway, what we want to do this time around, if you recall before, we started making our melon and pumpkin patch uh, down below uh, in another level of this uh, little area. And uh, so far, we've only found pumpkins. We don't have melons for it. So I think going out looking for some melons would be a good excuse to go and do some exploration. So let's go ahead and do that after we do a little bit of prep. So let's see. First off, we want to see what we got in the old inventory. Uh, basically an extra cobblestone. We got some rock copper and some leather here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and dump those in here, I believe. Just to, to have them on hand. Also these slabs. Okay, so yeah, we've got our stone, iron, diamond pickaxes from uh, from all that jazz. Okay, so basically, plan is first thing we want to do is sleep through the night. Good morning. Morning, guys. All right. So just to review, we've got our beginnings here of our uh, pumpkin and melon patch. We want to be planting melons along this side. I haven't even bothered hoeing it uh, because I knew that the pumpkins were going to be flopping over here. Which, yeah, somehow the vine is connected to the side and not to the stem. They need to fix that. I really do. Please do that in like uh, 120.2. That would be swell. Anyway, Let's head on out. Uh, we had this opened up to try to get some unemployed villagers to come in here and uh, occupy these stations, but uh, they have not so far, and we're just going to leave it at that for the time being. 
Is that uh no, those are not unemployed. We need more unemployed. What are you what are you doing over there? Leave these guys alone. Let them move around. They're trying What are you even doing? What are you doing? You stupid stupid thing. Just get out of their way. Let them let them let them go about their business. Oh my goodness. All right. Got a lot of these guys around. This one looks maybe a little beat up. I'm not sure. Anyway, so the plan. Uh oh, new recipe. Ah uh, yeah, the uh, the new boats. Cool. Uh actually, yes, I do have a bid. All right, so that's really basically all I need is the bid. So the plan. Last time. We basically struck out due south uh, from our beacon over here. Well, not beacon, our uh, smoke uh, signal here. And uh, we uh, happened upon a fishing boat out there and a couple of uh, other fortified villages, which was pretty cool. But uh, those now have been generated and anything there is to loot in there has been looted. And of course, there's a pumpkin right over there. So, uh... Melons, uh, we pretty much got to find a jungle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go follow the coast up this way. And... All right, and, and we got to figure out how the heck these guys are getting over the side. We'll figure that out some other time. Right now, we're just going to follow the coast. Be careful not to uh, sail into the waterfalls. We'll stick to the rivers and the lakes that we're used to. Or in this case, uh, the ocean. So how many people are old enough to remember that song? Alright, so we've got Volcano there. I believe there is an increased chance of diamonds uh, beneath that. But right now we are looking to hopefully find a jungle. We got savanna up there, so it's like a warm, dry uh, biome. Hopefully, we will shift into a warm, wet biome up ahead. That's the hope, anyway. Ooh, something mountainous over there. Trying to tell what kind of trees. This looks like uh, more savanna there. Neat looking. Now, I did do a little bit of sort of quasi-pregeneration of this world uh, when I first started out, first preparing it, I knew that Ferrolith is notoriously laggy in its terrain generation. So, I basically... Uh, Made the world, just pretty much just stayed there at spawn, uh, and turned my render distance like up to maximum, up to like 32. The uh, okay, frames per second was uh, was way down, but I just gave it time to just go ahead and render everything it was going to. There's my there's my village again over there. Um, seems to be on a bit of a peninsula here, with this little narrow strip uh, joining it. I think there was that uh, abandoned camp over that way, and of course this other volcano over here. Hot shrubland. Alright, so we're starting to get into, yeah, we've definitely got a little bit of lag going on here. Um... I'm trying to see there. I'm getting a, maybe a few dropped uh, frames here and there. Hopefully not too many. Got some bees there. Maybe we can do something with that at some point. Anyway, continuing on. But uh, yeah, I generated things out uh, at least a bit beyond my normal rendering distance. I think I have it set to like 18 at this point. 
in order to sort of do a little bit of pre-generation around, at least around anything that was likely to run around, uh, any areas that's about to run around uh, right off. But, not go this far away from anything. Yeah, we're definitely getting some, some little bits of lag here. And yeah, if you drop frames here and there, about 0.1% to the, the uh, on here. So not too, too bad. I mean, you think, oh, no, that's, uh, that is sugarcane. I've already got that. Got some wild pack up there. Yep. Oh, we have a ruined portal here. Let's go check that guy out. Do have yes, I have the compass. Good. I want to make sure I'll be able to find my way back. Yeah, definitely getting some drop frames right now. Ooh, yeah. They're mounting up a bit. Okay. Uh, chest. Ah, all right. Uh, what was the... There it was, control. Okay. Gold boots with projectile protection. Nice. Well, should... No, I'm not taking that. Flint. Should I have some flint on hand? I probably got some flint already. Alright, so... Iron boots plus two armor, plus one armor. Mm, nah, I'll stick with that for now. Um, I plan to uh, camp when the night comes. Let's just pop up here just to take a look and see what we've got. That looks like more volcanoes. It seems I'm in a bit of a volcanic area here. And with lots and lots of this terrain here, the uh, savanna or savanna plateau. A nice little lava area there. All right. Continuing on, what else are we going to find? Ooh, this is interesting. This is a graveyard. Oh, with bone meal. Respiration 2, that could be useful. I'll take the bone meal and the gunpowder. And there's another... Oh my, okay. Uh, quick charge one and protection two. Take that. I'll take the bones. You never know. And, uh, and something's gonna come up that's useful. Candles. There's lots of candles in the uh, deal. Alright, sun's going down. I'm going to. Go ahead and camp here for the night. But, uh, I guess I don't really need those. 
this one here. Just, oh, string. I'm going to take the string. And cobwebs as well. I think cobwebs could be useful. I can go ahead and hop up in there. Oh, we got paper. Sharpness two. Oh my goodness, there's so much good stuff in here. More bones, string, gold. I'm gonna take paper too. I need paper. I mean, I guess I could make paper well enough, but uh, oh, and there's more cobwebs in here as well. Oh, there's an entrance right there, of course. I could take these skulls. That would be cool. Oh, caught in a web. That's pretty neat. A little graveyard. And there's definitely some things to loot, although I did not see any uh, templates, though. So now pack is there. So, that's the question. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have made a chess boat. I should have made a chess boat. Do I have the stuff for that? I can make a chest. You just make a chest and then you uh, combine it with a boat, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... The heck can I what is what what's going on here? That was weird. Okay, so if I shift click on it, yeah, then I can do that. Alright, so I can just toss this stuff in there. All these goodies that I'm collecting, and then just keep my basic stuff. On hand. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. Yes. That will double what I can carry. Alright, so. In that case, moving on. I mean, look at me. I got a chest. Isn't that neat? Anyway, uh, moving on. Let's see if we got anything over here that we can get. But really what we're looking for is melons. That's what we want. And just general exploration as well. That seems to be just a little island. Um, I'm going to go ahead over here because this looks like it could be an island as well. So I'm going to guess that this is the main coast. At some point, I do want to make a mapping expedition. But for now, we're just following the coast here. So far, a lot of savanna. And these mountains here... Watching for any sign of jungle. Uh, looks like more savanna back there. Dang, come on now. I mean, I guess the savanna can be pretty big. I guess. So what do we got there? That looks like just regular forest. Or some variation of it. Actually, it looks like a, uh, a Terralith variation on the forest. Nice big tree. So, the plan here is just go ahead and circumnavigate this, uh, this ocean. And, well, more pumpkins. 
And what is this little guy here? Looks like we're getting into something a bit more temperate. And then, uh, yeah, and then the spruce forest over there. What do we got here? Rushland. Yeah, lots of bushes and stuff there. Cool. All right. Back to it. All right, we're getting more, more lag. Oh yeah, definitely seeing those drop frames there. A while back, before I upgraded my processor, I did the little exploration in, uh, with the uh, Terralith uh, on, and uh, in, a, in the previous uh, series, and uh, oh, there was just so much lag. I actually had to kind of remaster a lot of the uh, stuff, a lot of the sequences like this, um, using replay mod. And basically overlaying that on top of uh, the original game footage. Because you can do that, you can generate uh, a sequence just basically following a player and that's ex pretty much exactly what I did so it made things a lot smoother so that's interesting yeah I think that is something that uh, Terralith does to the birch forests what we got up here uh, oh is that the uh, dark forest I think it makes the trees taller in there as well So yeah, that's this is something that uh, Terralith does. It uh, does alter some of the biomes. Ooh, big old boulder there. Okay, this is not looking like some place where we'd find a jungle. Old growth spruce taiga. And then we're getting over here. Oh, yeah, so laggy. 25 frames per second. Yeah, that's not great. But then it goes uh, back up a bit. Yeah, and uh, also it adds a little bit of glow lichen to some of the trees in the dark forest. Which helps things out a bit. Oh, we got some little red mushrooms growing there. Nice. I should get some brown mushrooms. I don't know if I have any. Hmm. Well, no new recipes. So maybe I had those already. Anyway, that is enough to to start a uh, culture of those growing. All right, we're going to go back out the way we came because it just kind of looks like it's enclosed here. So we're going to go back out. This is a river anyway. And uh, back out to the ocean. So is that an island there? Or we have to go around to the left? Oh, we have some kind of structure over here. Is it a lone structure or part of a village? It appears to be a lone structure. That's kind of neat. Also appears that we are losing our light, so we're gonna go ahead and 
sleep when it gets low enough. Hello. There we are. Lovely sunset. For a moment there, I thought I saw pillagers. All right, what? Uh, oh, that's just the weird land formation. Okay. So this appears to be an old well. Oh, we've got some lapis. We'll take that. Oak saplings don't need that. TNT, I'll go ahead and take. That might come in handy. Um, and you know what? I'll take the sticks as well. Because you, you never know when you'll fall in a hole and need a stick. All right, well, there's a cauldron. Do I need to take that? Don't think I need to. That does nothing. Obviously. Neat. I'm going to go up on this hill just to see what I can see. From the top of this gravel block. Sometimes if you can see beyond whatever woods you're at. Oh, there is a fire over there. Interesting. Is that something that I missed before? Let me run over here. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer view of it. Because it looked like there was some structure to it as well. What is that thing? Yeah, I'm going to boat over. See, that's something that I either missed or saw and forgot. <laughs> yeah, there. Ooh. Oh, my. What is that thing? Oh, is that... Oh. What is it? Yeah, that's just... That was like... Hidden behind the trees there. I'll come over this way. I think that should get us uh, closer to it. Wow, how did I miss this? It's like right there. I was just like looking over this way, I guess. It's like right there, hidden among the trees. Okay, so we're going to be careful here because there's some caves that uh, something could spawn from. Oh, yeah. Oh, and there's a witch in there as well. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. Yep, don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it. Ow. Why is that turning? Yeah, saw that witch running around there. It's like, oh no. I'm not sure what that structure is, but uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to wait until I'm a bit better geared up for that. Definitely waiting until I'm better geared up for that. All right, continuing on. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I was looking over at the stats for the uh, drop frames. Oh, my goodness. 0.3 to 0.5%. Lovely. Well, continuing on. So yeah, there was that uh, that well. And then that, uh, I don't know, it looked like it was some kind of variation on the, uh, 
on the man on the Woodland Mansion. Okay, we're getting into it looks like planes here. I'm going to go ahead and pop up on here and take a look. Yeah, these are planes. And one thing that Terralith does is it adds more grass. Trying to get an idea of what's ahead. Yep, we are getting back out to the ocean. This looks like, uh, yeah, it's just a, an island here. And we're just kind of... Sneaking on past it over this way. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. That's one thing I don't I don't care for about Terralith. It's a bit unkempt as far as the grass goes. All right, like some regular old forest here. Looks like there's some, yeah, some, some birch over here. And there's a dark forest over that way. Yeah, I think it's just the other side of that birch that we're seeing from there. Yeah, so mapping would be good. Okay, what do we got there? More dark forest. That looks fairly tall. Uh, I think it's just more of the dark forest. It does get taller trees with uh, with Terralith loaded. So just seeing tall trees on the horizon does not necessarily mean uh, that you're getting to a, a jungle. Because as you can see, the trees are definitely taller. And, you know, it's got the glow lichen and all that stuff. And basically it's meant to make it a bit more navigable. Uh, we've got a, got a shipwreck here. That could be worth investigating. Make sure there aren't any more of those little uh, witch condos in there. All right. Let's see what we got here. That's... An odd little gap. Oh, it's the door. That's why. But we have no uh, chest back here. You have this one, and we have oh, smithing tap templates, two coast armor trims, and also some paper, which I'll take. Uh, leather pants with protection three. That's decent. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. okay, 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 let's not uh, lose track of ourselves here. All right, so yeah, the coast uh, armor trim, we're going to have to look into that, but let's compare pants here. Uh, this is going to us plus five, plus two, but with protection three. Yeah, I'm not sure. Keep that on for now. Ultimately, no, I'm not really wanting leather, but uh, uh, yeah, this is the same one. I'll go ahead and take the potatoes, though. What am I thinking? I got potatoes. I got potatoes coming out of my ears. All right, back to the boat. Uh, sun is starting to go down. 
we're going to swing around this way. Try to get farther down the coast a little bit. This appears to be another island. All right, here's where we're going to put in. Didn't get that far down, did we? And once that comes down enough, we will sleep. Hey, cows. There we are. Lovely sunset. All too short. We are starting to get towards the fall now, here in the Northern Hemisphere. So the sunsets will be shortening. I believe that's the way through. Old growth birch forest. More dark forest here. I'm wondering if I should go over that way. But this does appear to be uh, the way out to the ocean over here. So we're going to continue. And we're going to take a look in this boat here. So I'm going to have to look up those armor trims so I can figure out if Coast is the one that I want. Because I'm thinking the one that most matches my uh, my banner design is uh, the eye. Oh, more paper, leather tunic. We'll take that. If nothing else, I'll be able to, uh, you know, let's get the carrots too. Up, 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 up. Gotta do this in smaller bites, I think. All right, so. Um, is there... I don't have an axe on me, do I? Let's see. I'll put this away for now. Go ahead and make a stone axe. And this kind of bust into that. Actually, not, I don't think there's going to be anything in here. I think you're just looking at the hull here. Um, if there is going to be one, it'd be farther forward, maybe. Anything to be had here. I think it's just all wood. Alright. Okay. Just hoping maybe there'd be another chest, but no. Alright, we're gonna up over here. Let's see if this is within reach. Come on now. It's like having not drift away this time. There we go. All right. Toss this stuff in there. And might as well get down on the phone. Okay. Continuing onward. Ah, okay. That's looking like uh, Yellowstone over there. And I see...
some sort of house. Now the uh, ocean continues over that way, and we will continue over that way. But I do want to see some of these structures along the way. And that appears to be one over here. Oh, okay, looks like a village. Yep. We got a village over here. And oh, we got a oh, watch out for this. Watch out for this. That is a hazard of uh of this biome. Oh shoot, 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 shoot. Yeah, you gotta watch out for this stuff. Oh man. What would that do to a chest boat? I'm not sure I wanna know. All right, let's uh, let the generation catch up here because this is, oh, wow, that's pretty. I don't hear any villagers around, which is a bit disconcerting. Oh, okay, here's one. A baby, all right, jumping on a bed. And bread, potatoes. Spruce trees. I kind of like spruce trees. They're a good source of wood. Alright, we're going to head out here. I don't need any more pumpkins. I got my own pumpkins. But we are going to see what's in here. Some looms. And there's obviously some sheep on the other side of here. Yeah, and his little pen. Cute. Not going to mess with him. Water trough here. I'm guessing this is a path up top there. Oh, should I get some berries? I'll grab some berries so I can plant some at some point. All right. I think we can get up here. All right. There's some structures up there. Yeah, this is a little path. There's the bell. And some houses over here. Uh, apparently, um, this is a little Lord of the Flies situation here. Spruce sign. I'll leave them their bread. All right, you kids uh, have fun. Any grown-ups in this uh, town? Or is this like that Star Trek episode? Okay. I'm gonna take that to use. What do we got up here? Nothing? Nothing. Of course, I'll have to... Uh, Get some blaze rods in order to power the thing, but uh, we'll get that. Let's see. I think there was, yeah, there's a little thing up here. Watch my step. It's not going to fall down. And that's just a grindstone. Okay, I think I. Uh, Park the boat over this way. So I think that's probably about it for this uh, village, I think. There's something over here. Yeah, I get the little path going out. I think we came from over that way, so we'll continue there. Um, I think. Oh, can I pick up the boat with all the stuff in it? I don't know that much about chest boats to know that uh, I can. So I'm not going to try it out here in the wild. Maybe I'll try it back at home. But not here. Here. 
I will try to thread the needle. Ah. Ah. Hate that. See, like, if I was making my base there, that would be a mission to like just go down and uh, either mine up or place blocks on top of those uh, those magma blocks. All right, we're gonna camp here for the night. The night comes. Oh, that's just went down so fast. Come on now. Shadows from the trees over there. Come on, surely. There we are. That's pretty. Okay. Definitely got some pretty sunsets. Alrighty. Continuing on this way, even though this does seem to be a temperate area. Um, you know what? Instead of following the river up into these biomes. Let's go back over to the ocean. The wide open ocean over here. I believe it's this way. Is that another shipwreck? And, uh, See if we can get out among the waves and just maybe. Oh, is this the one that we hit before? I think it may be. I think this is the one we already got. Just to make sure. Yeah, we, we already got that one. Dang. All right. So... I think we are going to head out to the ocean, though. Over this way. Because we're kind of going... Kind of technically in ocean, but not in the big ocean. Um, we're kind of in just this little small thing between... The mainland and these islands over here. So we're going to come over here this way. And hopefully... Maybe if something comes within sight across the waters over here, maybe some uh, some jungle there. If it's not not up against here, it's dirt. Every time I see any anything of another color through the trees, I'm taking a look because we do have these new structures here. That looks like regular trees. Oak trees. Oh, there was a beehive way up in there. Big old tall birch. This is looking a little bit more like the uh, the birch forest that uh, we saw in, I think, some of the the wild update uh, previews, but that never really came to pass. It kind of seemed like that was like the easiest thing to do. But maybe they just never quite got it tuned to the look that they were going after. Or they just took so long on the other things that uh, they didn't have time, I don't know. Over this way. That looks like jungle. So the question is what's the best way to get there? Is that a river over this way?
Will this take us through? Oh, it might. It's going to be narrow. But yeah, it looks like it does. Yes. Yes, this is what we're looking for. The jungle. And we'll take a little look or see around here. To uh, let things catch up as far as the terrain generation. So the first step is just to do a little run past here. To see if there's any melons visible from the, uh, the shore. What I don't see is bamboo. And we're looking for structures as well. Including signs of trail ruins. That's the other thing. I need to find out how to make a brush. And keep an eye out for suspicious sand. Should have done that before leaving base. All right, time to go on our jungle cruise here. So when are we going to see the, uh, the jungle explorers getting uh, poked in the butt by a rhino? When are we going to see some melons? Oh, there's some uh, bamboo over there. We'll grab that. Because I do want to get some more scaffolding. So being able to plant some bamboo be just the thing. I don't really need all that much. Just enough to be able to cultivate it. All right. So still looking for melons. We might find some among here. Pumpkins. Come on, guys. I want melons. What the heck are you doing to me? Looking for them. Don't want to power on by them and miss them through the trees here, through the through the bamboo. Of course, going so low like this, easily miss them. So let's actually put into shore here and maybe climb a a handy tree here. See if I can see more. Pumpkins. Why are there pumpkins? It's supposed to be melons in the jungle. What the heck? Cocoa pod. Anything up ahead? Sugar cane. Dang, come on. Where's the dang melons? Careful there. There's pigs. Well, dang. I will grab a bit of moss. Because that could come in handy. All right, we're going to continue. Or maybe I should go over there. Okay, that's that, 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 these, and those. So 
Where's the sun? It's gonna be a little late. Let's come over here. I did have a session the other day where I was just kind of running through the bamboo jungle and I was finding plenty of melons. Carol is tropical jungle. Well, shoot. Where are all the melons? I just don't see them. They should be in here, and yet they are not. I do not understand. All right, need to find a spot to bed down. here among the bamboo. But man, oh man, where are the melons? Surely I should have spotted some by now. What's up, Minecraft? used to be cool. Maybe up the mountain over there? I'm going to continue over this way. Keep looking for them. I'm getting cocoa pods everywhere, but... Uh, But no melons. What the heck? I don't understand. Pandas? Is that a horse? Well, dang. Where's all the melons? Didn't change that, did you, Terralith, huh? You go and mess with my melons? Make those not spawn? What the heck? I don't like that. I'm going to go up in there, see if there's anything hidden. Guess I'll just swim across. Hey, horsies. You guys seen any melons around here? How about you, panda? Anything? No? What do the pandas eat? Bamboo? Yeah, they eat bamboo. Cute. There you go. Lovely. Isn't that cute? You want some more? No? Oh, you just you're just taking your time with that, aren't you? Okay. That's fine. I got more when you want it. Yeah, did you just going at it? All right. Want some more? I'm willing to give you all this. There you go. There you go. Did 
isn't that just cute? Oh, I just turn right towards me every time. Probably because I'm still holding it. it takes him a while, doesn't it? There you go. Ah. Okay, you're gonna be shy now. Probably because I'm not holding anymore. All right. Bam. Boo. No. Pump. Oh, jeez. Melons. I need melons. Looks like a bit more jungle over that way, but still not seeing dang melons. Come on, guys. Too many crickets. All right. Boat should be down here. Alright, continuing on. Dang. There was such promise. And that promise was broken. I am sad. More jungle over there. Bamboo jungle. Is that... Little hint of red. I'm guessing that's uh, dark forest, dark oak forest. All right, midday. There's parrot. Can I attract the parrot? Come on, seeds. Where's the seeds? Gonna need it. There we are. No. There we are. more more seeds come on I want a bird I have something's gonna take more than four where are you all right where'd you go Don't tell me you went in a cave good lord Well, shoot. All right. I'll just keep these on hand. For when you decide to come out again. Still not seeing any melons. Not seeing my boat either. Where's my boat? Oh, come on. Where's my boat? Oh, no. Is it over this side? it down there yeah there it is all right because I want to get a parrot too There's something over there Anyway, let's see what's up on this side. Cows. All right. Um, just peering through the jungle, looking for any signs of melons. Dang. Seems to be melonless. Why do I have melonless jungles? Hmm? Is this a, uh, a bug in Terralith? Does it remove the, uh, does it remove the melons? I don't like that. I do not like that at all. Okay, this is just a little lake here. I do not like this. This is not good. All right, 
Where was my boat? There it is. Yeah, what time is getting into the afternoon? All right. Continuing. Still holding out hope. But I think I should have found it by now. I would have thought. Come on, just one nice little melon patch. I think, yeah, it's basically jungles and uh, I think they show up in some of the chests at the um, Woodland Mansion, which is not ideal. Come on now. We may have to make this a two-parter. At the very least, the journey home. Come on now. I want to go to sleep. Here's the stars. Ought to... Come on now. It's clearly nighttime. All right. Mm, my goodness. All right. Really? I think we're going this way. All right, and we reach a dead end. Okay. Oh. All right, I'm going to climb up. Hopefully I'll find something. And I found Dark Forest. All right, well, dang. All right, that's pretty much the end of this jungle then. We have reached its limits. All right, we'll head back to the ocean Continue on and hope for the best. But at this point, I am wondering if uh, if melon generation in jungles has been uh, broken. Mm, that looks like grass up there. Yeah. Uh, not going in there. Dang, dang, dang. Well, if any luck, we'll see it in a reverse view going this way, but I don't think so. Very disappointing. Go through this much jungle without any melon patches. I may have to ask about this on the Terralith Discord. See if this is something that is known or intentional or like, if it's like, what? What are you talking about? Or if it's just something that uh, can happen rarely. All right, so continuing on. Whoa. 
big old lag there. We're definitely getting into some new chunks. And thus into new territory. Looking also for signs of those trail ruins as well. Since uh, they can generate in these uh, terralith biomes. All right, more savanna over there. And we got a horse. I was hoping we get a parrot, and there was one, but it just went up and disappeared. More forest and such. Little magma down in there. Boulder. I know there's like boulders and spikes and stuff like that, which kind of uh, mark where you might find the certain cave biomes that Terralith adds. Granite and andesite and stuff like that. Ah, another sheep. Unfortunately, I have a chest boat, so I cannot carry it back. Just a little inlet there. Small one. Hello, cow. Yeah, we definitely get into some drier terrain over here. Dang it. So that might cut through to more ocean. I'm going to go this way. Around the ocean side of it. But uh, we're almost down to like a quarter hour remaining. So it is very unlikely that we are actually going to find melons this trip. Uh, unless there's some in that boat. Which I doubt. So let's go see what's on the boat. And we'll keep our eyes peeled for other for other things. Ooh, ooh. Oh my. Okay. Got something going on down there. We're gonna keep our distance from it though. Hello, sir. I'd like to come aboard. Hello. What have you got on board here? Oh, you got a chest. Oh, some raw cod. I'll go ahead and take that to cook up later. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, more raw cod. Try and kill the fish. I'll take the string. I have use for that. Quick cod. What is it good for? Lots and lots of string. You can always use string. And then here, ooh, amethyst shards. I'm gonna take those. And an unbreaking two fishing rod. Yes, that will be very nice to have. Thank you, sir, for your contribution to the cause. Oh, and there's more stuff hidden in there. Thank you for that as well. Thank you very much for your contribution to my well-being. Yeah, I get it. Ooh. I don't like that. All right. 
Oh, I gotta jump down here for that. Okay. So we're gonna go back towards the shore over here because we're gonna skirt that. Because I didn't like those little spooky noises. Again, I am not ready for that kind of adventure just yet. I kind of feel like a bit of a pirate taking all that guy's stuff, but uh, yeah. Oh, while I'm in it, I have access to it. Just do an E. Sweet. Yeah, let me put uh, some things in there. Stuff that won't stack. Oh, and uh, some things that'll stack on what's already in there. Sweet. All right. Yeah, that's cool. Pumpkins. Don't need pumpkins. There's like old shore pumpkins there. But yeah, got a nice little ocean monument right there. I'm not sure what direction home is. Uh, well, yeah, it's on the other side of the monument. Great. Okay. So that's west. So it's to the south. Wow, we're like up north of the thing. So we've kind of circled around. All right, uh, we're going to need to put into shore soon for the night because I don't want to just be boating around through the night. Ooh, we've got uh, a lot of stuff down there. That looks like a ruined portal. Uh, I don't know that I want to brave that because my inventory is pretty full right now. All right, we're going to come over here. See if I can find a spot where I can land. Yes, here we go. And we'll sleep. A little bit of the sunset, uh, sun rays peeking over. Here we are. Back in the daylight. Good morning. Thought I saw smoke in the horizon, but it was just some of these tall, uh, tall grass here. And that's just a tree. Hot scrubland. Well, I guess it's going to be hot with all that going on. Or is that going on because it's hot? I would hope not. I mean, you know, hot enough to fry an egg on the pavement is one thing, but hot enough to melt rock? Yeah, that's uh, that's the kind of weather I don't need. Yeah, we've only got another 10 minutes or so, so. Hoping for a miracle here. Oh, we've got, uh, we got these guys. They'll probably just have pumpkins, though. Boat right here. Let's see what we got. Oh, emerald. Take that. Leather boots. No. Cauldrons. It's empty. Where is everybody? I got horses there anyway. Hello. Sticks. I'll take them. I like sticks. I'll take sticks. <gasps> yes! 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 This is it! I found them! I found them! I found them! Why was I thinking they wouldn't be in these villages? All right. Yes. Okay. That's enough to get me some seeds. Oh, I love it. I love it. Thanks, guys. Um, I'm going to see if, uh, they have any more. 
think that's the... Well, they have a brewing stand in here. I'm trying to think what else I could use. Nope, it's just a house. Clean up here. Yeah, it's like a... Ugh. Is there a way up, or is it just... Kind of dec ah, decorative. Decorative, I guess. All right. Let's see what all we got in here. I have sugar cane at home. Clay balls, flower pots, no. Did I already look at these guys? I don't think I did. Okay. Mow your, mow your lawn. Hey, dude. What do you got here? Oh. Um, you know what? I could use some of these. Oh, I tried the, uh... The new bookshelves. Sorry about that. Uh, I'll leave that for you. But, uh, yeah, taking those books to, to make bookshelves of my own for my enchanting area. Alright, we're going to look around here, see what we can find. Hey, guys. Oh, hey. Bother, don't don't mind me. Don't bother me. Don't mind me. I may have looked in here already. Um, looks like you have a little problem with uh, with your irrigation here. Um, let me see if I can help you out. Um, yeah, I just have to cover that one up. And, oh, got another, another leak over there. Um, all right, well, there you go. I think some of your Crop land is going to revert, but uh, that should have things more manageable anyway. All right. Just, you know, right in front of your house. What do you, why? Okay. I think that's probably about it. Did I get this one yet? I don't think I did that one out on the pier. there. Let's uh, hit these two out on the pier. Hello, sir. Don't mind me. I'm sure you don't even know I'm moving away because you've lost all your depth perception. And what do we got? Wheat seeds, acacia saplings. Nothing I can't get back at home. Nice little wedge. All right, so the boat is back over there. And we're reaching the point. We've got about five minutes left. Oh. All right, you know what? You're on your own with that one. I've, I've, I've done enough. What did I just pick up? Melon seeds. Perfect. Yeah, they must have had some growing, and uh, yeah, they just got swept away. All right. And that is somehow not. Yeah, the generation leaves a bit to be desired here. Okay. Boat is over here. All right. Now I say we continue.
just to see what's around here. And turn this into a continuing exploration of this ocean here. Because I'm thinking, as we go around, that should be to the west. I think we're probably a ways north of our uh, home. Well, home is over back over that way. Maybe at some point we'll just take off across the ocean. But right now, we're near the end. We're not going to just do that right in the middle of everything. I want to see what else is over here. That looks like smoke. Let's take a quick little jaunt over there. See what else there is to see along the way. More jungle, but we've already got melons. So we don't really need to go over there. Although, I may make a stop over there on the way just to see if I can get me a parrot on the way home. But I want to see what the smoke is over here. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Or at least a campfire. Ah, it's a little camp. A little mining camp. Ooh, arrows. I'll take those and also a bow with power two. Punch one and power two. We can maybe combine those at some point. Make a power three. Uh, more crystals. Power two and unbreaking one. That's nice. More arrows. The logic of that is odd. Um, anything more over here? Just the campfire. Oh, and a barrel. Be careful not to step in the campfire. Uh, I may have hit that already. Clean up the campsite a little bit. All right, so we got a little time, but uh, actually the sun is going down. Let's uh, okay. We have a trader around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sleep the night. We'll do a quick check of what that trader's got to offer. Hello. Do I have I do have one emerald on me. Uh, oxide daisy. I've already done my thing. Lily Valley. Brown mushroom. That might have come in handy later. Uh, and everything else is out of my price line. Oh, cherry sapling. Nice. But I cannot buy that right now. Bucket of tropical fish. That might come in handy later if I'm making a... Uh, yes. If Uh-huh. If I'm uh, making an aquarium, although I do have tropical fish nearby. All right. So, it is about that time. So, uh, that's going to be it for this session. Uh, we've got our nice little trader here. We've got a little camp. It's, it's, it's so quaint. Anyway, um, and we have a chest full of stuff in our boat, which is uh, always nice. So, including the pumpkin, the, not the pumpkins, the, the melon slices and seeds that we were after. So we're going to make our way back home next time. And uh, I'm thinking I might stop over by that bit of jungle over there and hopefully get myself a uh, parrot on the way because I do have some wheat seeds on hand. Anyway, uh, we'll do that next time. See ya.